You requested it, so today I'll be giving you a look at some of my favorite penny stocks that I have in my portfolio, some of which you may want to add to yours. In addition, today was an insane roller coaster of a day in the market, and it's days like these where you figure out are you invested in companies that you believe in long term, or you figure out if you're invested in companies that you see as get rich quick opportunities. Comment down below and let me know which one you are. Are you day trading the market or are you investing in long-term plays? I'm going to give you a look at the craziness I experienced in my portfolio today, including being down by over $25,000 at one point today. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all future videos. 21% of the subscribers here have also hit that notification bell. Oh, and since I forgot to introduce myself, welcome to Hyper Profit. I'm Andrew Edwards. And while none of this is financial advice, the market has been absolutely nuts for the past couple of weeks. So first, let's get into my portfolio and take a look at how it's doing. Now, as you can see here for the day, I am somehow up by about 1% or so, which is crazy because if you look at this screenshot, this is where I was sitting about eight hours ago. I was down 8% at one point, which put me at a $25,836 loss earlier today. Now we'll come back to that in just a second, but let's continue through the cycle here. So for the day, up about 1%. For the week, down about 10.29% again this week, was brutal um, for the month down about 19.71% for the past 90 days down about 2.34% for the year up 12.12% and then all time up 12.37%. Now I did take profits earlier this week at the beginning of this week and then rebought some of these shares in the dip which kind of throws off some of these numbers because since I took profits out, it removes that. So if I didn't do that, then I would be up for the past 90 days about 32% or so. Back to today though, as I said, I was down almost $26,000. Online, I saw so many people pulling their money out of the market and panic selling, and I get it. You put your hard earned money into the market, you see it starting to pull back. You don't wanna lose more than you already lost, so you sell. However, if you are invested in companies that you believe in long term, then you have to realize one thing. Until you actually sell, the losses that you're experiencing are just graphics on a web page or in an app. Again, I was down 8% at one point today, but I'm actually finishing the day up about 1%. So if I would have sold earlier today, then I would have sealed in those losses and made them real. Instead, I decided to buy the dip. I know for a fact that companies like Apple and Tesla aren't going bankrupt anytime soon. So the fact that their stocks were down substantially meant that I was able to buy them at a nice discount with certainty in my head at least that they will rise back up. And that's exactly what happened in the second half of the day. And those losses, at least for the day, are gone. By the way, the aftermarket today and pre-market on Monday are going to be crazy. So please be sure you're signed up for Weeble with the rest of us here on this channel so that you can get an extra eight and a half hours of trading time every day. If you don't have a Weeble account, I've got a link down in the description for you. Yes, they do give you free stock for joining, but that is not the benefit. The main benefit is that access to the pre-market and aftermarket. That's where I make a lot of my gains. Okay, now on to my favorite penny stocks. I know we have a lot of new investors watching this channel. So in the spirit of investing for beginners, let me tell you what a penny stock is. A penny stock is the stock of a small company that trades for less than $5 per share. Some of them trade on the typical exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange, but most trade over the counter or OTC. With OTC penny stocks, there is no trading floor and everything is done electronically or digitally. Since these are smaller companies, they are much riskier than investing in a more established company that you know can weather the storm if, if things go south. The potential reward, of course, is that you can buy them so incredibly cheap that if they even rise to $1 per share, you can make some serious returns. So one example of a penny stock that grew out of penny stock status is Bio Nanogenomics, ticker symbol BNGO. Initially, I bought 905 shares of this one at $2.21 per share, 
and today that company is at $7.73 per share. So I'm up over 170%. Now I did a dedicated video on why I chose this company and why I'm so bullish on it long term. If you haven't seen it, be sure to hit the link down below and I will leave a card here as well for you. With all that said, I wanna quickly give you a look at some of the penny stocks that I own and how they perform for me. It should be noted that if you're looking for the majority of these on Robinhood or Webull, you won't find them there since they don't deal with OTC stocks. So for the ones in this list that don't show up when you search for them, I recommend using a TD Ameritrade account. Instead, you'll find all of these there. I also recommend doing your own research and due diligence on these companies before jumping in and investing in them. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just showing you what I've done with my own money. First on the list is Single Point, ticker symbol, S-I-N-G. I bought 25,000 shares of single point at a cost of 1.6 cents per share, and today it closed at 2.43 cents per share, giving me a 44.82% gain. Single point is a company that focuses on providing renewable energy solutions to both consumers and small businesses. Just a couple of weeks ago, they announced intent to acquire Pure Air, which now puts them in the air purification business as well. And based on the current administration in the US, I think stocks like this will perform pretty well over the next few years, so I'm holding. Next on the list is ESE Entertainment, ticker symbol E-N-T-E-F. I bought 5,000 shares of this when it was just 86 cents per share, and today it's up to $2.38 per share, giving me a 176.27% return. Now, what is ESE Entertainment? It's an end-to-end esports company with physical and digital assets. They've got physical venues, teams, leagues, media infrastructure, and distribution partners. So yesterday it was actually announced that they signed to be the official esports distribution partner of the Ultimate Gaming League. Now, as distancing restrictions are lifted, I expect the stock price on this one to keep rising as well. But as you can see, Going from about 86 cents a share to $2.38 a share is not a bad return at all. Next penny stock on my list is Zometica, ticker symbol Z-O-M. I bought 1,600 shares of this one at $1.20, and it's currently sitting at $1.85, giving me 54.17% return on my investment and it's gone as high as $2.70 per share since I've bought it. Zometica makes medical equipment for animals and has a product called Truforma, which is a biosensor that veterinarians can use right in their office to help with diagnosing several conditions on the spot without needing to send blood into a lab and then waiting for results. So this allows decisions to be made faster and treatments to begin sooner. The device itself is supposed to be very easy to use. I love animals and pet ownership isn't going away anytime soon. So if you can help keep pets healthy with a solid groundbreaking product, I'm investing. Next up, another one of my favorite penny stocks, Castor Maritime. This is ticker symbol CTRM. I bought 1,583 shares of this one, I know that's a weird amount, at 85 cents per share, and today it's at 80.8 .8 cents a share, giving me a loss of 4.94%, but I'm still very high on this company. Heck, a month ago it hit $1.73 per share, and I expect it to rise back up uh, way past that, actually. This is a global shipping company that specializes in ownership of dry bulk vessels, or in other words, ships. They owned six vessels, but recently doubled their fleet size, which could mean a doubling of their business. Now, just to show you some of the risks involved with penny stocks, though, here's one that I like a lot, but that I'm currently down in. This one is Cyberlux, ticker symbol C-Y-B-L. I bought 200,000 shares of this one at a cost of $0.0033 per share. And it's currently sitting at $0.0014 per share, which is a 57% loss. This company makes advanced lighting technology for the likes of the US Air Force, National Guard, Special Operations Command, and the US Army, among others. The market has been down in general, but I see good things for this one in the future. And as you can see, the stock is just over a tenth of a penny in cost. So it has a long way to go, but even if it reaches 50 cents a share one day, that'll equate to $100,000 in my portfolio since I bought 200,000 shares. Or they can disappear completely and I could lose it all, but it was a $660 investment that I was willing to make. And that's the key. When dealing with penny stocks, make sure you understand the companies and also that you're only using money that you are comfortable potentially 
losing. Now I wanna hear about your favorite penny stocks. Be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know which penny stocks, stocks that are under $5, do you invest in and believe in long term? Let me know and I'll meet you down there for further discussion. Also, let me know what stocks you wanna see me do a deep dive on next. I have some ideas, but I will take your feedback into account as well. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webbers, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Hyper Profit.